guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed. Hello. I am going to start an experimental worm bin. So, this is something I've never done before, but I got my son a kit to grow mushrooms for Christmas, and I guess whatever it is has um, gone down its path and it's done. So he brought over some of the blocks, the spent blocks, for me to feed to the worms. So I don't know if we're just going to get worm food or if I'm going to grow mushrooms. I'm really not sure. But they're kind of dry, I don't know, Rice crispy looking things. So I'm going to bury them here in this worm bin that's just one of my grow up bins. And uh, let's see what I can do with it. So I'm going to fluff everything up here. Make sure that uh, they have enough moisture. Seems okay. Maybe could be a little bit more damp in here. But just making sure that all the moisture in the bin is homogenous before I start on my new project here. So, looks pretty good. When I add the wet blocks, I'm not really sure what they're called. Whatever they're called, they're pretty wet. They've been soaking in a bucket. Um, so they're pretty wet. So I'm going to just add them in here. And there's, there's probably a pound of worms in here. You can't, they're not all over the place, but they are, they are there. And they're the Red Wiggler, European Nightcrawler, Blue Worm combination that I got from Uncle Jim's. Um, what I consider to just be the composting mix. Um, I don't have a problem with it. They do their job. Uh, I hired them to compost things, and that's what they do. So the fact that it's not one species, the other doesn't matter to me. Uh, they do just fine. If you wanted a particular species, uh, then I guess maybe you'd been mad, but I didn't care, so I'm fine with it. And uh, so it's not a commercial for him, but I'm just saying a lot of people give him grief because you don't always get what you paid for. Uh, but in my case, I didn't really get what I paid for, but yet functionally it's the same thing. All right. So here is, I don't, kind of looks like wood. Yeah, looks like wood to me. Probably maybe ought to put that back in the water. That's not, I don't want to give them anything dry. Let me know if you've ever done this. Put that in the comments below. Have you ever used spent mushroom bedding? Uh, if so, what happened? Um, I'm really kind of... What I want to do is mix this all together, because you know how I like to mix things up. But, in the event that the worms don't like it, I kind of think maybe I, I ought to keep it at one end. All right, so change of plan. Everything goes to one end. That way, if the worms don't like it, they can get away from it, and I won't have hurt anybody. So I'm going to move most of everything over here and put the mushroom stuff down here. All right, and then I'm just going to give them some paper on top, pretty damp, because this looks to be wood shavings, and I'm not really sure. Oops. Okay, well, the light just went off on me, so that means I'm done with this video. <laughs> All right, guys, well, if you can still see me, hold on, let me switch you around. All right, so if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing, when the light comes back on, ring that little bell notification. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.